Peggy 18. Hi, I'm Brian Fargo, studio head for N Exile. Today, I'm thrilled to show you the director's cut of Wasteland 2. Now, for the first time on consoles and for PC as well. In this video, I'm going to explain some of the choices you'll need to make to help protect the people of the Wasteland from the dangers they face trying to survive in this harsh and unforgiving future. The Wastelands of Arizona and California are huge, harsh, and unforgiving. To survive them, you'll need a squad of desert rangers diverse enough to handle the wide variety of situations the world will throw at them. First, you'll need to choose the best squad for the job. You can select pre-made squad members and get straight into the story, or create your own customized elite team. Attributes, skills, weapon specializations, appearance, their history, all of it can be determined by you. Wasteland 2 offers you a nearly infinite number of skill combinations for your squad. Your choices here will define how your squad forges its path through the wasteland and how you experience the game. You can create a sharp, professional looking squad of rangers or a motley crew of specialists. It's important to choose carefully as the world reacts to your appearance, who is in your group, your conversations, your current health, and more. Will you create a cold, opportunistic sniper, a cynical old doc, a tough-talking negotiator who can go from words to fists in an instant? The possibilities are endless. It's a good idea to ensure your squad has a balanced set of abilities and skills for combat and exploration. You'll want to take someone with field medic or surgeon skills to heal the inevitable combat injuries. Also, consider characters with other weapon skills, perhaps some demolitions for an explosive situation, or smart ass to talk your way out of trouble, or lockpicking abilities to find another way past it. And new in the director's cut of Wasteland 2 are the quirks and perks system. The quirks are personality traits that modify your experience with positive and negative qualities for each ranger in your squad. Is your character a heavy-handed bruiser, a psychopath, or just an asshole who can intimidate anyone but can't say something nice even if it kills him? It's your choice, and it'll change how you make it through the wasteland. Remember that variety is your friend. A squad full of gun nuts won't be able to question a raider for info, nor will a squad with silky dialogue skills be able to talk their way past a mutated cockroach. And even your gear matters. Squads trained in different types of weapons might find some foes easy to overcome, and others not so simple. Let's have a look at some of those squad choices and how your decisions in combat affect the outcome. Rushing into the wrong situation can make for a fast end in the wasteland. This squad has bit off more than it can chew. On the other hand, you could have put some thought into strategy and used the strength of your squad to your best advantage. High ground will give your sniper an accuracy bonus and help him pick off the weaker guards. Sending a bruiser in is going to draw the enemy's attention and throw off their aim. In the director's cut, you have even more options in combat. Perks let you unlock special bonuses and abilities to use as you level up your squad while precision strikes will let you target different body parts on your enemies. A well-placed attack can blow an enemy's weapon to bits or knock them on their ass. Even with terrain on your side, it makes sense for us to use cover. But cover is not permanent. Much of it can be destroyed by explosives and gunfire, which leave your ranger exposed. And remember, the bad guys can use cover too. All of your choices led up to here. How you built your squad, the skills and weapons you outfitted them with, 
your choices in picking new companions, and even your path through the world and how you treated characters along the way. And when you did get into a firefight, the outcome was a result of your tactics and decisions to make use of all those tools, and maybe just a little luck. This is just a small example of the many decisions that await you in Wasteland 2. Make no mistake, this will be your story. No two players will experience the same game. And if you can't survive, what hope is there for the people of the Wasteland?